All right, guys, Kristen Pelletier here with another awesome time saver in Word for you. Uh, we're going to create a macro today. Um, so macros are, a lot of people think they're like super techie, but they're really not. If, if you're using it in a typical office environment, they're great time savers. So the first things first, let's get started. In your ribbon, you've got all these tabs at the top. Um, and you'll see on mine, I have a developer tab. Now, if you've never customized your ribbon, um, you probably don't see the developer tab. So let's go add it. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on any one of the tabs up at the top in your ribbon. And you're going to go customize the ribbon. Left click on that. And you are in the options menu, customize ribbon over to the right, that big box on the right. You may have to scroll up and down a little bit um, to get to the developer tab, but you should see developer there. And there's a little box next to it. If the check is not in it, then you do not see it on your ribbon. So go ahead and left click inside that box, put a check in it down at the bottom, click OK, do, 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 and you will see the developer tab right there. Now, once you click on the developer tab, you will see all of your commands grouped. You have a code group, add-ins, controls, and whatnot. Now, um, if you go to the code group, you have something called macros here, and you can record a macro here. This here, if you click on macros, this will bring up a list of the macros you've already created, and you can run the macros from there. But we don't have any macros yet, so we're going to record a macro. Ready? So we're going to click on record macro. The first thing it wants to know is what do you want to give your um, name to your macro, and I'm just going to call mine, uh, let's see, late notice. I'm going to do a quick little letter that I send out to everybody if they're 30 days past due. So do I want to create a keyboard shortcut to that macro or do I want to put a little button on my quick access toolbar? So I'm going to choose the button and notice, actually, let me take that one out. And we'll put that one back in. And so I just did this before. And so you're adding this to your quick access toolbar from here. Notice you are back in the word options menu and you are in the quick access toolbar menu where we are customizing the quick access toolbar to put that little button on the quick access toolbar so we can run that macro a lot easier than going to the developer tab and clicking on the macros and then hitting run. Just a few less steps, a few less clicks we have to take. Um, all right, so we're good there. I'm going to click OK. Ba, ba, ba. Notice that my little mouse now looks like a little cassette tape because actually what you are doing right now is you are recording. And notice up here it says stop or pause, which tells you you are in the middle of recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a couple of things. So I will put the date. Um, and I will put, oh, and the autocorrect feature of the replace with does not work in the, when you're recording a macro. So in my last video, I did ACT and it would automatically type out access computer training for me. Uh, but when I'm in the middle of a macro or recording a macro, it will not, um, it will not work. The autocorrect feature will not work. Um, okay. And da -da. all right. Then from there, I will say, dear customer, you are 30 days past due on your bill. Please remit ASAP. Boom. Now, I'm sure your letter would probably be a little bit more detailed than that, but let's just call that a day on that letter for time purposes, and I'm going to stop recording. So notice everything that I typed in here. I'm going to come back up to the developer tab in the code group, I'm going to stop recording. Now, I'm going to delete everything that's in here, and I'm going to go run this macro. Ready? So this little button right here, this little icon is on my quick access toolbar, as you can see, and that's my late notice macro. Boom. So all I did was click on that, and look what it did. It filled that out for me. Isn't that cool? Now, you can run macros for lots of things. I will tell you I've tried to put... Um, logos and a logo well you can insert the logo on a macro but it doesn't seem that you can resize it or center it um, also headers and footers you can't seem to do when you're in the middle of recording a macro so that being said i hope this helped you guys and please like this video and subscribe to my channel we're going to be doing a lot more really cool things tips and tricks with 
um, some of the time savers in Microsoft Office and Google and all sorts of things coming up. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day.